Welcome back everybody, thank you for watching another video. So today I want to offer up a very simple explanation as to the differences between a traditional poured steel and powdered steel. So let's take for example the steel used in the Brigand by Civivi Knights, alright? This is a D2 tool steel and it's available both in your traditional poured steel and powdered steel. All right, let's start off with the poured steel, all right? Let's say you got this vat, this bucket of D2 molten steel. It gets poured out, then it gets formed in one way or another into some bars or some slabs or whatever it is. And then it gets either hot rolled or cold rolled to help align the grain structure and really try to reduce the amount of gaps and spaces within the steel. Now over on the powdered side, it starts off basically the same. You have your molted steel of D2, except now it gets poured into a sipper machine that takes that molten steel and turns it into a powder. So now you've got these little tiny granules of D2 steel that get put into another machine that gets heated under extreme heat and extreme pressure, and then it pops out in the shape of a slab or a cylinder or whatever shape they want it to. Now, if you were to look at both of these steels that are identical, they were just formed in different ways under a microscope, you would see that the powdered version has less voids and spaces in between the carbides. And the carbides would actually be more spherical and more tightly packed and denser in the powdered version than you would see over in the poured version. Now, the carbides in the poured version are larger. They almost look like shattered glass and you would see a lot more spaces and voids in the poured version. And of course, the more tightly packed you can get a steel to be, the better the qualities are. So it basically takes all the characteristics of the poured version and just enhances them. So it seems for now that powdered metallurgy is the way that the steel industry is going to be heading. Uh, so I guess the next question is, well, how much better is it? Is it 75% better, 50% better, 25% better? Honestly, I don't know the answer to that question. The thing that matters to me is, I just know that powdered metal is more expensive than poured metal. So which one should you go with? I can just leave you with this little bit of advice. I don't really pay that much attention to steel unless I needed to do something very specific, like let's say be very corrosion resistant, like the H1 from Spyderco. Other than that, when I'm looking at a knife, I just look at the profile, how it feels in my hand, and maybe what I'm gonna be using it for, because honestly, most of the stuff that we're gonna be using those knives for can be done by a box cutter. So if you're gonna take away one thing from this video, just remember that advances in steels are always going to try to reduce the amount of space in between carbides and the voids that are left behind. The more tightly packed that they can get that, the better steel that you get. All right, guys, thank you for watching. And remember, tune in to see my review of the Civivi Brigand. Guys, thank you for watching. I'll catch you in the next video.